Hello and welcome. I am Mara Cepeda. This is your 6 p.m. wrap. President Rodrigo Duterte wants his fiercest critic in Congress, Senator Laila de Lima, to step down. Duterte tells de Lima, quote, you should resign. Duterte adds, quote, if I were de Lima, ladies and gentlemen, I will hang myself. The innermost of your core as female is being serialized every day. He's referring to de Lima's alleged romantic relationship with her driver. Duterte, who previously slammed de Lima for immorality, said the lady senator is a bad example for women. The president last week publicized a matrix supposedly showing personalities involved in the new beleaguered prison illegal drug trade. De Lima and Pangasinan Representative Amado Espino Jr. are the highest officials in the matrix. The Commission on Elections suspends ballot printing for the 2016 Barangay and Sangguniang Kabataan elections. This after President Rodrigo Duterte's statement supporting the postponement of the elections. The COMELEC says it will wait for a law or joint resolution from Congress formally postponing the polls, set supposedly for October 31. The poll body adds it will resume ballot printing if no law or joint congressional resolution is out by September 1. A suspected drug lord and his wife are killed in Malay Aklan Monday, August 29, a week after meeting with Interior Secretary Ismael Sueno. Boyet Odikta and his wife Miriam are shot after getting off a passenger ship. The Odiktas met with Sueno last week to clear their names of alleged involvement in drug trafficking. Police suspect the gunman boarded the same ship and probably shot the couple from the back. Odikta was on the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency watch list of drug personalities in Iloilo. President Rodrigo Duterte expresses no surprise Odikta is shot dead. Duterte says, quote, that Odikta was really being haunted. In Iloilo, he is the number one drug lord. Bad luck caught up with him. President Rodrigo Duterte calls on China to consider the plight of Filipino fishermen hoping to make a living in a disputed West Philippine Sea or South China Sea Monday, August 29. If we continue and treat each other with brothers and understand especially the plight of the fishermen and uh, they're almost really, that's why they are there because they are poor, the Chinese people this time might find a place in their hearts for their Filipinos. In his speech on National Heroes Day, the Philippine president appeals to the Chinese not to treat Filipinos as enemies. Duterte, addressing Chinese Ambassador Zhao Shanhua, promises not to bring up the controversial West Philippine Sea ruling outside bilateral talks between Manila and Beijing. But he says the ruling will have to be discussed once representatives of the two countries are face-to-face -face in formal negotiations. A suicide car bomb attack on an army training in Yemen kills at least 60 people and wounds 29 others Monday. The attacker drove his vehicle into a gathering of new recruits at the camp in northern Aden. The port city of Aden has seen a wave of bombings and shootings targeting officials and security forces. The attacks in Aden are often claimed by Al-Qaeda or ISIS. No groom has claimed Monday's attack. That's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch our updates daily at 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm Mara Cepeda. Remember, tomorrow begins today.